Galnet News, keeping your galaxy in focus. 29th of September, 3301. In today's top story, Sothis Crystalline Gold. Palin invited to join research group. Shadow President Winters calls for investigation. Senator Arissa Luvini Duval gains more powerful support. And finally, Plastic Fantastic. Scientists based at New Home Station in the Sothis system have made a startling announcement, the discovery of an entirely new metalloid. The material called Sothis crystalline gold is produced by exposing ordinary gold to the thermal vents that line the seabed of the planets Sothis A5 and Sothis A6, or more specifically, to the submarine gas emitted by these vents. Exactly how the gas transforms the gold is not yet fully understood, but the scientists claim that the resultant metal is completely unique. Given the emergent nature of the discovery, the scientists of New Home Station have yet to find any applications for Sothis crystalline gold, but they are optimistic about finding constructive uses for the material. They are also offering entrepreneurial pilots and explorers an opportunity to earn a quantity of the rare material by delivering gold to New Home Station in the Sothis system, thereby allowing the scientists to produce more Sothis crystalline gold and conduct further tests. Last week saw reports that Professor Ishmael Palin has been forced to cease his research into the so-called anomalous extraterrestrial objects, also known as unknown artifacts. The Voice of Verati has since received a statement from the Canon Interstellar Research Group, an independent scientific body. We were extremely distressed to read reports that Professor Palin has seen his attempt to research the unknown artifacts forcibly terminated. This is indeed sad and to a promising beginning, especially given the insights concerning the artifacts the professor had shared with us all. We can only speculate as to why he's been silenced in this way, but the fires of suspicion are spreading rapidly. Someone in a position of power knows far more about these things than the rest of us, but wishes this information to remain secret. The question is why? The Canon is going to redouble its efforts to conduct open research into the UAs, as we feel it is in the interests of humanity to learn as much about these mysterious artifacts as we can. We also urge Professor Palin to join us, as we feel it would be in his and his team's best interests. The Professor can contact our council at any time, and we will assemble a quick response team to assure his safety. Понял? And in federal news, in a speech before Congress, Shadow President Felicia Winters called for an open and thorough investigation into the allegations made in recent articles posted by the Federal Times. Though we don't have the original recording, she stated, quote, that there is too much evidence here to be ignored. I knew Vice President Nigel Smeaton personally, and he was a good friend. The thought that he was murdered for investigating the death of a family member is repugnant. Our society is one based on truth and freedom, and I call upon President Hudson to immediately instigate an impartial and open investigation into these allegations, end quote. Her speech was met with support from both sides of the political divide. There has been no response from the president's office as of yet. On the federal front, Capitol has been abuzz with rumor following Senator Denton Petraeus' open declaration of support for Senator Arissa Luvini Duval. While possibly not a front-runner for the Emperor, Petraeus commands a sizable fleet and is rich and influential enough to help Arissa Luvini Duval become Empress. Senator Luvini Duval already enjoys the support of Chancellor Anders Blaine, whose voice is perhaps the loudest and most influential in the Senate. The Imperial Herald's revelations concerning connections between Princess Ashland's office and the Emperor's dawn insurgency have severely impacted her rating, and are likely to have cost her support in the Senate. The political landscape has been shaken further by Senator Zamina Torval's announcement that she is backing Arissa Luvini Duval to be crowned Empress. 
And finally, having been banned from cockpits for over a year, the craze of the bobblehead is set to return. Although seemingly innocuous, these little plastic figures have been implicated in thousands of accidents across known space, and have even been used by pirates and assassins to murder unwary pilots. But after intense lobbying from various pilot groups and toy manufacturers, the production has begun on a new generation of bobbleheads, which will soon grace cockpits. Security services have released safety advice to commanders regarding these cockpit adornments, reminding pilots to check their bobblehead for explosives, hidden cameras, forcibly stuffed hamsters, sandwiches, dark matter, and illicit drugs, and to ensure that the bobblehead is firmly affixed to the dashboard before undertaking any maneuvers. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where we have to say our farewells for some time. As most of our team is MIA, the editor and myself are the last of the Galnet News team. But I have to take my leave once again to finish what I started in the officer training school for the Federal Air Force. I do not know when we will meet again, but rest assured that we will. And to end on a similar note as before, I wish to leave a message to the men and women who have made our current lives possible from over a millennia ago. As their noble sacrifices and passion have given us the stars to grasp with nigh the naked hand. We will never forget them, nor the last time we saw them, as they prepared for their journey and waved goodbye, and slipped the surly bonds of earth to touch the face of God. This has been Chip Washington. Tune in next time to keep your galaxy in focus. Thank you.